I had a guy ask me if I could make an aluminum mold that he could use to make lead duck weights for his duck decoys. Uh, I told him I'd give it a try, and this is a video of that process. I'm not going to give any feeds and speeds for this because, uh, to be honest, they're probably all wrong. This is the first real project I've done with 3D, and uh, I didn't know what I was doing. This here is a 3 8 inch two flute, uh, standard end mill. I'm using just to get uh, the bulk of the material out. Turns out it was too big for the top area of the mold, so I had to switch to a quarter inch to get all of that out. The quarter inch was also your standard end mill. I used the standard end mills because I have a very limited quantity of ball end mills and I didn't want to break any. And not knowing what I was doing, the chances were pretty high of that. Up here in the top, the quarter inch end mill was also too big, so I had to switch over to an eighth inch, taking very light cuts to get most of that material out. For the final pass, switched over to a eighth inch ball end mill. I'm only taking one thousandth step over to get a, I wanted to get as fine a resolution as possible. And it worked out pretty good. cutting some pockets to help pry the mold apart. Here's some alignment pins to help everything line up right. And then we're just fly cutting the surface with the super fly. Just skimming the top to make it nice and flat. And here's the finished product. Here's the original weight that the guy wanted me to duplicate was pretty hard getting measurements off of that but I got it pretty close couldn't quite get as far in down in that detail there but I got as far as I could and it worked out okay I'd say not bad for my first attempt so here once it's together you can stick a screwdriver in these slots that I cut to help pry it apart. We did a test run and uh, it was a good thing that I did that because we used it every single time. Here's a shot of the pour spout. Here's a still picture of one of the weights that we made. And here's a picture of a stack of weights. We crank these out in probably less than 10 minutes. So once the once the mold got warm, it uh, it went pretty smooth. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.